definitely hero against Sora, free, absolutely. Would not would not go Lucario this match, would not go Joker, would not go any other. Like wouldn't definitely not go Terry. Definitely or Instant Roar. Definitely go hero for that balance, uh that balance mechanic that you're going to be wanting to use against Fire Raga, Thundaga, and I have no sound. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nummies. Yep. Baby coming in coming in with the superior Square Enix property. You're right! You heard you're, right. <laughs> you're right! You're right! <laughs> Dragon Quest, my beloved, but here we go. Battle of the Enix, uh, Square Enix franchises. Dragon Quest and Kingdom Hearts. Right, and we're seeing Helper use the Faraga a bit more than we already than we saw in uh, Sonic Beam, the setting in Sonic Beam, where we saw where we would see Helper throw out the single Faraga to just kind of threaten. Uh, nice. But I mean, Hero has quite a bit more of a grounded gameplay. Uh, so throwing out, ooh, the whack, you're crazy. You're crazy? It would it likely would have killed a helper. At that percentage, I think it's about 50% or 60%. Bounce active now, but, oh, but no, whoosh! Oh, no. So you see why we need at least 18 MP to recover, but it is A-OK. -okay. Uh, we got bounce active at the moment, kaboom, definitely gonna take helper. Not right there, because he air dodged yeah, it, air good dodge. job! F that F take it. it. Yeah. Waiting out that air, or that, uh, spot dodge. Yeah. Avoiding the Sonic Blade, uh, the first hit of Sonic Blade, you zap as much as you can in order to keep the helper at bay. It's another one making himself way faster than Sora. Yeah, no, you Double cannot, up air. You cannot down air when uh, Vivi has that uh, accelerado. And so the last, and the edge hit of Kaboom off the stage, but you, you won't do it. And that's frame Blame 6, flame slash. slash into the neutral getup. We'll definitely take that second stock from helper so quickly as well. That I think, was that a zero to, uh, to death? Uh, I don't think so, no. It might not have been? I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't checking. That whole sequence of events though was super, super good for VB. That RNG kind of go crazy. That was such a good roll there by VB to avoid the Blizzaga. And the Kaboom! Yeah, that's cute. My fireball's bigger. Mine's bigger. It actually, it, it caught the hit of, I think it was Fireaga, and then just, it just sucked in Helper with yep. him. Yeah, things are looking rather grim for Helper. Yeah, throwing out the counter, but VB's uh, just looking at his menu. Looking for oh. another one of those hard read F smashes, but again with Accelerado on deck, Helper's not able to find much. He is able to find one there, and oh. able to find the back air, getting the perfect arc for that Accelerado double jump. But 100% on Helper right now. He was hovering over the magic burst. He should have done it. Oh, that was amazing! And into another the Accelerado. Fair. I just want to say that was really. F I, I like watching Hero vs Sora. Because it's basically a matter of I have thunder, I have ice, and I have fire too, bro. <laughs> we had the first of family spells, Zap of family spells, and uh, and the only ice. Sorry to interject, but for summer, you're being relieved from duty. Oh, I want to watch more VV. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I will see oh, you guys you later. Between, yeah. Yep, I gotta go. O2 real quick. Oh. Oh, you're gonna go. Sora, hero. <laughs> Alright, Max around. Hello, hello, hello. We are back to this game. Sorry for a little bit of an introduction right there, but we have Ubo on the mic. Hi. Hello, Ubo. Hello. Hello. We're, here. We're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. We got Hero and Sora. We got Hero Bounce active and uh, one game going to VV. Yeah, this is Which, a tough hold one. Hold on, hold on. Numbers, switch the names. Switch a lot of things. Yeah, names are incorrect, but either way, it's, it's you can tell by the tag, you can tell by the heads, everyone's but there. The <laughs> everyone's everyone's vibing out here as a great recovery coming out from Helper, using uh, the ability for Sora to linger, waiting for BB to commit. Now we got some web trapping. How deep will he go? Not deep enough. Can't not, catch not up to that, that zoom. zoom. Nope, can't, can't, cannot, cannot uh, challenge that zoom for the most part. But, you know, people trying to get that two frame down uh, with down smash. But that up, up B will be taking that first stock from VV and Helper at a really you know, a, a, a nice a nice percentage at the moment. Be careful that Solar Rado active and that Kafir is also active at any time that he wants to take it out. Yeah, it's interesting because we're watching we're watching VV forced to fish for menu in order to actually take advantage of Sora's main weakness. Though he does miss the combo up Nair 2 twice over, the second Nair 2 that he got could have gone comboed into up tilt. Either way, Helper. 
isn't known for their technical skill. They're known for their neutral. They're known for their ability to play patient and, and to exploit openings when they find them, when they Absolutely. present themselves. And we saw that in, the first, in, the, in our first uh, game with Helper between him and Sonic Fiend, the patience that he has against other players. So we have Vivi who has to kind of go towards uh, Helper's pace, and we're, we're seeing that advantage he has uh, on, this, on this stage as well, Hollow Bastion uh, versus Vivi. Which I'm definitely in, in Sora's favor, in my opinion, versus someone like Hero. Oh my god! Just with it. Just with just that, with up, that up smash. And it, just a little bit. It feels like the up smash was just a little bit too greedy, because forward smash lasts longer and is amazing at catch new, catching neutral getup if you uh, believe that neutral getup coming. But force, that's another ability of Sora, being able to just linger off stage like that for mm -hmm. so long. And Hero, whose recovery is dependent on either RNG yep. or um, resources, you can just force Hero to expand them. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what exactly what happened. He used all his uh, magical power and magical points, and he had no MP in order to get that whoosh, whoosh, or cause swoosh back to the station. Now we have Vivi at a very, very dangerous level, Ooh. and now can be able to attack that because he was in the middle of the of charging up swoosh for his own recovery. And Helper took advantage of that startup of the startup frame. I'm so glad that Helper is very ready, able, and willing to just go off stage. Just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to, I'm going to fiend. I'm going to look for the conversions off stage. And just on that alone, that's how you get people to air dodge early. That's how you get people to recover high. And we saw Helper get the fruits of his labor in both forms, whether it be staying off stage or catching an early recovery as the switch to Lucario. First time I've seen that go. in a while. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. These are literally the two characters I played in brackets. Right? I, I love. I love how <laughs> we have our we have a moment of me going for hero and you like get to the gush about Lucario. Love it. Thank you, Vivi, for uh, satiating us for you know a little what's hilarious? bit. hilarious. I used both of these skins in bracket too. Yeah. <laughs> Because oh, clearly that means they're the best skins. Of course. Uh, you know, Sora's got a lot of good skins. <laughs> oh, Sora has amazing skins. I think all the skins are really good besides like the zebra one. But like, you know, yeah. that's alright. It's, it's, it's like okay. Yeah, Master, it's not bad. Master it's Form's okay. kind of mid. You're right. Yeah, it's like, it's like alright. It's like there. But you know what's also there? We have Vivi uh, again. Kind of struggling to get into the how he wants to, I guess, help her on this stage. We're going over to Kalos Stadium. A little bit more uh, space for, for Lucar to run around in and kind of catch Sora as much as he can. And he has that pillar stage to advantage as well. Good on Vivi to understand that the walls force Helper into basically one angle when he's yep. that close. The percent looks really good on the part of Helper uh, in the beginning. Sora has a lot of really good damage output. But as of this moment, it's starting to get real even. It starts to get real There's dangerous no, no, for good. Helper. That Ward Sphere coming out, but Helper just committing to the air, committing to these active disjoints. That fourth Bomb won't do it. Vivi has the time. But that okay. Sphere definitely yeah. will, yep. Still racking up the stock, but Vivi's been doing a good job of avoiding the Thundaga. Thundaga actually, like, not all that good in neutral scenarios. Mm -hmm. But not really punishing it all that hard. He's being very, uh, he's being very reserved, and it's being... There, it's allowing Helper to find so many of these opens, especially with that back air. Good evasiveness on Vivi's part, though. And he's not able, he will not be able to get that dash that he really wants against Helper to kind of punish his attack right then and there. Seeing Vivi try to use all of this for a great DI on the upbeat. A lot of Sora has a lot of moves that you want to DI down and away for their survivability. Thunder uh, and upbeat being the, the main ones. And if you're able to avoid those, you're basically preventing Sora from getting stopped much, much earlier. That back there won't do it thanks to Kalos. Almost though. They're trying to get him with the get of attack and there it goes. Getting that upbeat kill. Finally, maybe at 162%, which is what you really want is just to kill the card as much as fast as you can. Because when he gets higher and higher and higher, he gets so much stronger in that rage and that in that drive going. Nah, you really don't want to deal with that. This is someone who's Sora who is more light. Just up tilt into up air. It's it's those combos that are. It's what makes uh, Sora better in a lot of matchups, or needs to be better in a lot of matchups. Where if you're not hitting your IDJ up airs into things like forward air or other up airs, yep, you're losing out on not just damage. The Sora can rack up damage decently well, as we're seeing Helper start to make up this lead. It's kill setups and scenarios, and that's what IDJ up air really does. But and if you, you got hard reads, it. if you, you got, got hard held. reads, you know. <laughs> it's, it's the read because you held the forward smash. That's the thing that kills me. And now Vivi, but you know, not even that bad. Honestly, Helper getting a lot of credit for himself in case he does get that stock loss for himself. And unfortunately, Lucario does not have the strength that he needs to close out this game as early as he really wanted to right then and there. 
Oh my god. Not getting down there right there either. Not the punish on the Blizzaga gain sign blade as well. All three times. Alright, yeah. Using that neutral air, but Helper is able to get out and the scoop from the aerial sweep as well. BB's getting just a little bit yeah, more vigilant with some of these or sphere uh these B reverses in. It did work out in that scenario, but I mean you're you're a Lucario, sometimes you want to take damage, sometimes you want to take hits. And at 76, you are at the upswing of Aura, so Helper has to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Once he starts getting like a more like orangey like tone, definitely definitely gotta be more yeah. weary up uh, towards the car. Okay, like now he's trying to throw, throw, throw out that counter as much as he can. This is saving himself a little bit because he has he had thrown it out a few times against Hanfin and he had closed out game with that counter. So be very careful, BB, with that uh, sword counter. He's looking for dash back forward smash, and that is the option that Helper is looking for in order to close out this stock, which will do it. But the back air comes in, BB trying to dominate stage. Will continue to do so. Oh, covers oh neutral get up, my and then watches Helper panic as the immediate dash, uh, the immediately dash in, and VV once again resting on those ideas, resting on those laurels of what he's so good about him as a player, whether it be with Hero, whether it be with Lucario, etc. With pressure all the other right here, will run back, calculating exactly where Helper was going to go after that Aura Sphere, uh, shoot, uh, just pressure in general. Yeah was so smart on Vivi's end, and he knows exactly where his kid needs to go in order to close out a game for himself. It's actually a clutch situation. And let me tell you what's so good about this spot right here. Just by pressuring Aura Sphere in the neutral getup zone, mm -hmm. you're convincing players to linger on ledge. That is exactly what they have to do in order to avoid linger on ledge or roll. And rolling right there when Aura, you're facing Aura Sphere, super dangerous. Mm -hmm. So by forcing players to linger on ledge, then you're getting into the position where you dash back and you play the stage control game. Yep. And that's what I feel like Lucario on, in, in ledge trapping teaches players the most. Make, uh, pay attention to stage control. Take your kills when you get them. You want to kill Lucario and Lucario wants to kill you. But Luke, all of these characters and all that Lucario finds in terms of